just as we think spring is coming, here it is, snowstorm again. The wind was really blowing this morning, blowing a storm in. So, we still got it. All right, um, Jamie left. Okay, um, he wanted to see the dollhouses. People wanted to see the dollhouses. So we have three of them. One, two, three. All right, so Macy, Brindley, and Credence playing them all the time. This one has a lot of rooms. And I bought it, it didn't have any furniture. And then this one was Brianna and Carmen's I bought for them to play with when they were little. Now some of the furniture I glue in so they can't lose it and take it and they always take it out and lose it. And then this is one, I got this dollhouse at a yard sale for $3 when Brianna and Carmen and Autumn were little. And so I, wallpapered it, made curtains, and did carpet in it. But some children have been naughty and they break it and they peel the wallpaper off. Look right here, peeling it. And the curtains that had more curtains back there, they took that off. But I don't care anymore. Just let them play with it. And this couch back here, I have to show you this couch. I made it. I made this couch. Out of, uh, I don't remember what. I even put cushion in it. And then I made this little coffee table for it. This was a Christmas tree ornament. And I made the bed. So this is all glued down so they can't lose it and take it out. But the rest of the rooms are not. So anyway, there's three of them. So the, the three girls, when Haley comes or Ellie comes and they all have a house to play in. And then I bought this at the used place and it's a fire station with the fire trucks. So the boys get to play in it with the girls because you know you have to keep everybody happy it's a pretty cute little building all right so this is all of this out here they play with but now i'll show you in the pink room here my idea is working great by putting that velvet sheet on there and then they can't rip it apart all right, I made this Barbie house years ago when Autumn and Brianna and Carmen were little. Those girls are Chad's girls, my oldest son's girls. And so I had Jamie help me build a bookshelf, but I needed it to be tall enough for the Barbies to stand up in it. So here's the little living room. And I put lights up here. See the little holes? There's no lights in it right now, I don't think, because people sleeping, it bothered them, so they unhooked it. And then the kitchen is here. This is their outdoor space. And then here's the bedroom up here, and I painted out the window here. I painted a scene out the window because that's what you would see out the window. And then the bathroom and I did I glued this furniture down too so they won't lose it none of this is glued down and this is the big windows like in my house so I painted you know the scene out the window here and you can see the scenes out the window there's a barn back there so they have had more fun playing in this and I know one lady in the comments, and then I made it big enough the cars could park under there. But one lady wanted to do a dollhouse for her granddaughter or somebody. 
So if you can't find one, find a bookshelf that would work. And look, I even painted this floor to be tile floor. Oh, this looks like gum. That's how even happens on their floor, not even the kitchen floor in my house. And then that's upholstery fabric I use for carpet. And I painted this to look like tile in here and crocheted around this rug. But you know, it's 20 years old, 19 years old now. I just made a wood floor on this one. So you can just get a bookshelf. And if you didn't want Barbie size, you can make it like those doll houses out there that are more like uh, Polly Pocket size. So they destroy it a lot. And I always have to come in and I don't know why they always take the clothes off all the dolls and all the dolls are naked. And I tell them, do you walk around naked? No, so don't let the dolls be naked. And here's my old watch, the broken watch. So I made a clock out of it. And look, I put a picture of Jamie and I here because I thought that was cute for them. And up here in this one, this picture frame, these are the how many grandchildren I had at the time. See, that's Autumn and Brianna, Peyton. I can't tell who that is. And so I put all these little pictures of them in here. I don't know if they ever knew, noticed it. And I spend all my time finding things. Not anymore. So you could do it too. Put a mirror right there in the living room. Oh, I made this couch. I gotta show you. And this footstool. Look at this couch. I made them and sold them. Barbie doll couches for a while. Fake leather. So it's even looking like real leather starting to wear out. So they have fun and play for hours. And someday I'll have to put them all away. I say that I'll probably give this to one of Chad's girls if they have daughters because, and this bed was a, a um, you know that game, bed, bed Bugs? That was the bed in the Bed Bugs game and it was perfect for Barbie. There used to be a lamp here and they broke it off. Oh, and I painted it, it says Dream. So, and then those holes I had all the lights in. I should put more lights in it now, the LED lights so that they can't. And here, I put it in this place. I'm gonna show you why. <laughs> For a safety feature, because if this house fell over, I haven't hooked it to the ceiling, but if it fell over, it hits the bed. So it wouldn't kill anybody and, you know, knock them out or anything. So that's why this is here and here. And that there's the chair up there that I have for Ezra's birthday. But this is their little couch thing they loved when they were little. I painted that. But anyway, well, like I said, I'm going to give this to one of Chad's girls if they have daughters someday. And then here's my little $12.95 doll that um, I bought a bunch of them. Over here's a bunch more. Look. They took the clothes off of that one. And I tell them, if you take the clothes off, then you have to put them back. We will. They never do. And then, if you haven't seen these, here's my collection up here of Lucy and Frozen and Barbie's collection. And I hung this thing right here. Remember, that was my newest one from Temu. So I hung that up there. I have another one to hang too. So, and that, these are the porcelain dolls I don't let them play with because they break them. Their fingers, they've broken a, oh, and there's that little doll there I have. They've broken a few, and I hung the disco ball, the pink disco ball. All right, 
10 minutes of toy land and then it's snowing, blizzard snowing out here. Here's my backyard. Somebody wanted to see our backyard. Our property line is just to this fence right here. And then he's planted all these apple trees back here. You can see this is the greenhouse that's off the hot tub down there. And that's where he starts his seedlings. And this is the closet right over here is the add-on to my closet that he did for me. So it's never going to, when we leave, we're hoping when the time we get back from Oregon, the snow will all be melted, but it's not going to melt if it just keeps snowing. And our neighbors back up here, they didn't ever have any children. They're nice people. They have uh, fur babies, they're dogs. They come and poop in our yard. And we put this fence here, but no, they go all the way around. So make sure they come in our front yard and poop right by my pool. Sorry.